So you're thinking about moving to Bend and you wanna learn more about the area, the Central Oregon area, Bend, Redmond, Sisters, Lapine, uh, where else? Where else could we talk about? Tumalo, who knows? The point is, is Bend and Central Oregon is just on fire. It has been for a while. We're gonna talk about something that came out today. The Milken Institute released its top small cities as well as top large cities to live in. Bend, no surprise, is on that list again. It's just been kind of shuffling back and forth throughout the top 10 over the last couple of years. This year is no exception. It's back on the list. We're gonna talk about it right now. If this video sounds like it's for you, stick around. We're starting it right now. your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living eating sleeping working playing the good the bad the not so great the ugly of bend oregon then subscribe to the channel tap that notification bell below so you can be the first to know about the current market in bend and surrounding central oregon my name's ryan and i've lived in bend for over 30 years my business partner zach and i we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to bend or anywhere else here in central oregon whether you're moving in nine days or 90, it doesn't matter to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up a Zoom. We'd love to be the ones that help you make that smooth move to Bend or Central Oregon when the time is right for you. So like I talked about in the intro, we're talking about where Bend stacks up. Again, the Milken Institute has released its rankings for top small cities to live in in the country and Bend is again making the list. It's been number one before, it's been number 13 before, it's been number 10 before. This year, it stacks up at number five, okay? Bend surrounding Central Oregon is always going to be such a fantastic place to live and there's no reason why it shouldn't be on the list every single year. Frankly, it should be number one in my opinion, but I'm glad that it's not number one. Maybe there's some other places in the uh, in the country that uh, is taking the spotlight away from Ben a little bit, maybe some other places so Ben doesn't have to grow so fast. I love the fact that Ben is growing. Ben is a remarkable area. I moved here back in 1991 when the population sign said, 20, maybe 21,000 people. Now it's over 100,000 people. So I'm not so new to the area, although I am a transplant myself. Everybody ultimately really is, unless you were born here. My kids were born here, but there's so many people moving to Bend. So let's just hop right in. Let's take a look. The Bend and Redmond area jumps to fifth place in the Milken Institute's rankings, okay? It's not like it's jumping up or it's making its first debut on this list. It's been on the list multiple times, but let's explore why, okay? There's been a lot of transition, a lot of change over the last three years. We all know this. So why is Bend moving up from number 13 to number five, although it's already been in the top five in previous years before, it's back in the top five. So. Let's take a look here. The report, the study explained high tech and digital economy played a role in the country's recovery from the pandemic, allowing work and education to continue during the initial stage and driving growth wages and employment in later stages. The high tech sector produced more than 2.8 trillion of net out output in 2021, growing by 11.3% between 20 and 20 and 2021. Bend, like we talked about in our employment video, has an up and coming startup scene as well as a tech scene. Bend used to be primarily hospitality back when Bachelor opened in the 1960s, Sun River Resort, et cetera. It was a place to vacation and that was basically it. The economy didn't really exist outside of hospitality, tourism, things of that nature. Now there's actual other industry in this area that is promoting job growth. It's helping other people find wages that they can live on, they can purchase homes. The area is growing in that regard. It's becoming more of a developed city, more of a small to mid-tier, mid-sized metropolitan area, which is great, as opposed to it just being a small town that's isolated on the other side of the mountains. And that's what Bend historically has been, especially in my time growing up, now that I'm an adult here in town, the, uh, the, the area is transitioning into more of a bigger town that can accommodate more. And that's what's so exciting about what's happening in Bend. You can see here, 
The Bulletin, our local newspaper, also picked up the story and they posted their own version of it. But this gives you an idea as to where Bend stacks up historically speaking. Idaho Falls in 2021 was the number one small town to move to as, a, as according to the Milken Institute. But we'll just go right through this here. Logan, Utah, the Villages, Florida, St. George, Bend and Redmond stacks up at number 13. That was in 2021. Here's number, here's 2022, okay? Some of the same towns every single year are getting this type of notoriety. That make that gives me an idea. Maybe we'll do a Bend versus St. George, Utah, or Logan, Utah video in the future. If you're looking to move to a smaller town and you're coming from a larger metropolitan area, let me know. Would you like a comparison, a cost of living comparison between small towns that are on this list? Are you considering other towns like Boulder? Are you considering other small towns like St. George, Utah? I want to know. We're curious to know what type of content do you want to see? You see this list here, 2023 versus 2022. Logan, number one, okay? Idaho Falls, number one in 2023. Okay, everybody, all these towns are just kind of rearranging themselves, but they're all stacking up, it seems like, on an annual basis, okay? These are the small towns that that get the, the notoriety, they have the attention of those that are making these rankings here. You can see here, this is 2022, but I wanna provide perspective on what the big towns look like too. So if you look through here, here we've got the larger metropolitan area list here, as well as the one that Ben stacks up into. Back in 2022, they were coming in at number 10. Just like the bulletin article said here, number 10 in 2022 so this is the official list here but look at this maybe you're coming from one of these larger cities here like provo the salt lake area or um, austin texas or phoenix or seattle we have a lot of people coming in from seattle we have a lot of people coming in from the south bay area like san jose and silicon valley where else okay we continue down the list boise we did a big video on boise that's done really well over the last couple of weeks okay people in the boise area are you relocating from boise we want to know so let us know how you feel about something like this. Ben is definitely on the map. That is not going to change. It probably won't be too much longer before Boise or before Ben winds up on one of these bigger city lists because Boise and Ben are not too far apart as it comes to the population. The growth of Ben is astronomical. The Ben Redmond Metroplex. So again, let me know what you guys think. We're so curious about your thoughts. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Do you get excited about this list? Does it make you frustrated? Do you want to move somewhere where there's less known uh, of, the, of the city and the metropolitan area? Let us know. We want to know. We want to be here for you when it's time to make that move. When you give us a call, uh, we want to be able to prepare something for you upon your arrival so we can get you guys into the right house uh, the first time. And that's what's really important to us. We want to represent present you when it comes to real estate, but we also want to give you guys all the context and perspective that's necessary so you can make the best decision as to where in Central Oregon you want to live. Do you want to live in Bend, a place that gets all the uh, the star power and the notoriety and the spotlight? Or do you want to live somewhere like Redmond where, yes, it's growing, it's a bigger town, but it's still small enough to feel like a small town and it's a little bit sleepier, slower paced, that type of thing. Let us know. Or else uh, we can show you somewhere else like Terrebonne, maybe out by Smith Rock or Sisters, even smaller town, Sun River, Lapine. Uh, there's something in Central Oregon for everybody, and we want to make sure that we provide the value on this channel so you can decide where you want to see homes when it's time to come visit. So again, thank you for watching. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how you feel about this. Is it good? Is it bad? What else do you want us to do content on? We're doing more out in the field videos. We want to show you guys as much of this area as we can while the days are long and hot and the weather is fantastic. So again, thank you for watching. Reach out to us. Call us. It starts with you guys. Call us, text us, email us, set up that Zoom. We want to meet you. We're excited to do that. If we don't plan on seeing you guys around town sometime soon, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.